What's up, guys? I'm Spano, and welcome to uh, to a new series idea that I have. And this series is going to be an advice series. Um, the game playing in the background is uh, obviously Fortnite. Um, I'm going to join the bandwagon. And um, I'm playing with Zach and Dylan, my friends. And uh, I basically want to give a little preface saying that this series is not original, like not an original idea for me. Um, so many YouTubers that I've watched have done something similar to this. And I kind of wanted to throw my own spin on it because I don't want to upload straight Fortnite videos because everyone's doing it and there's really no point to just having a, a gameplay video of just me and my friends playing Fortnite and yay, we get a win. Um, so yeah, um, this series is really just going to be me talking into a microphone to you guys. And, um... I want to go through um, a couple scenarios that a lot of people might be going through, and I want to make it relatable. I'm a freshman in college, so I have a little bit of experience in high school problems and transitioning from high school to college, and that's why this series isn't going to be... It's This is why I don't really take on it, because I want to give you guys advice instead of explaining a story or, you know, something like that. So I'm going to start off with uh, high school. Uh, I have my little, if you heard that, that was my pen hitting my desk. I have my little note right here with my things that I want to talk about. So we're going to start off with high school. Um, and the biggest thing, and the biggest thing that I'm going to stretch, stretch, stress about high school is it doesn't matter. It might seem like the most important thing in the world to you while you're there, but I'm a year into college and it doesn't matter. All the people that you meet in high school, 90% of them you're not going to see again. And in high school, this is another topic, um, relationships, whether it be um, girlfriend, boyfriend, or friends in general you want to form good bonds with the people that you want to stay with um my friend group i've known them since middle school and we've stuck together since then um still best friends to this day and i think that's important because you're going to meet so many people in high school you're going to meet so many people in those years of elementary school middle school high school that you think oh yeah this guy's my best friend i've had so many people that I'd say I'd take a boat for in my life, I don't talk to a single one of them anymore. Besides, like, my current friends. So, you gotta think of it that way. You're gonna meet so many people in your time in high school and middle school and all of that. And as soon as you get into college, they're gone. And it's it's weird to say it like that because you're like, oh, Spano, you're just saying that because you experienced it and you're, you don't know anybody in college. No, that's not true. Um... My friends have people that went to our high school go to their school. They don't talk to them. They don't. They have their own separate spheres that they're in. And I think that's the biggest thing. You find out who you are in high school, and then as soon as you hit college, you know where to go. You find that niche of people that you want to incorporate yourself in and try and make your way into this community because college isn't... College is a completely different animal than, than high school is. High school, you... Take the bus in, unless you're a senior. And I know in my high school, we could drive in as seniors. I don't know how many high schools do that. And you, you drive into school. You go to homeroom, and then you go throughout the rest of your day. You have lunch. A college is completely different. Um, a lot of people live on campus for college. I'm not one of those people. Um, I still live at home with my parents. But I commute to school. <laughs> and... Honestly, commuting is just as hard as, as living there because as a commuter, it's even more hard for you to uh, to make friends and find those groups that you want to fit in with because you're only there for a couple hours. Like I go to school, um, go to my classes, then I come home and then I go to work some days and other days when I'm not working, I hang out, do homework and try and record some videos for you guys. So, I mean, that's it's basically my day. Like, you're not, I'm not at school enough to try and find these people that I want to hang out with and make great relationships with because the only time I see them is in class. And college is completely different from high school because high school you can kind of slip through and talk to your friends during class and, oh, you're going to learn about it the next day. Or you're going to 
to your teacher will cater to you and you guys are going to learn about it a couple more times. College is completely different and it sucks. Like it really does because you can bag your professors all you want. Sorry, I couldn't think of the, uh, the wordage that I wanted to use, but you can bag your teachers and they like, it's up to them, but 95.59 numbers percent of the time, like they're not going to go back and cater to you. I know a lot of my professors do office hours where we can go and talk to them about specific problems that we're having and stuff like that. So that helps. But like in high school, like use your teachers as a resource, stay after with them. And whenever they offer extra help, use it because in college, it's not like that. And um, I think that's another thing that I regret from high school. And that's going to transition perfectly into my next topic, which is regret. And um, yeah, I mean, regret in big capital letters. That's how it's written on my list. Because in high school, there's so many things that you wish you did. Whether it's talking to the girl that you liked, uh, trying out for the sports team. I played soccer um, my entire life. And in high school, I was like, oh, maybe I'll try out for the basketball team. Never did because I was just too, I'm trying to like self-conscious, I guess. I'm a 5'10", scrawny, white boy. Like, I love basketball, but I feel like I would go out and embarrass myself because all these kids have been playing but had like AAU basketball or travel basketball for years. And I really didn't. I just played it casually. And I love the sport, but it's something that I just had to to say, I can't do that. And I regret it. Um, with relationships, um, I've been dating the same girl for about six years now. Um, she's amazing. And I, I have nothing bad to say about her. And it's it's weird because we've had these... Um, we've been dating on and off for six years. So we've had these periods where we're apart. And for some reason, just like... She's the one person that I feel like I can take that chance for. And I know it's, like, kind of corny and stupid and cheesy, but, like, it's true. Like, you're going to find those people that, like, you gravitate towards. And those are the people that you're willing to make these very uncomfortable situations and transform yourself into who you think you should be and not regret those situations. Because I could promise you, those things I do not regret whatsoever. And I, I shot my shot, and it worked. And we're still together to this day, and I'm, I couldn't be happier. Uh, anything else with regret that I'm trying to think about? No? Okay. Um, and I think my final topic, we're probably down to our last, like, two or three minutes, is, uh, shaping your future. So, when you're growing up, your parents and aunt and uncle and anyone, like, your elder is gonna try and give you these situations, these hypothetical situations that they're going to present you with. And to me, like, those aren't important. Sure, they give you, like, an idea of what's to come in the future, but the for me, the only thing that's shaped my opinion about my life and how I should live my life is the situations that I've been in myself. And it's, I live by that. Because I, why would I take someone else's opinion over my own when I've lived in the situation, I've dealt with it my own way, and in a way, like, it's it's made me stronger as a person. It's made me more experienced in life. And like I said, I'm a freshman in college. Like, I haven't lived that much. So I think it's important that you, going back to regret, like, don't regret the things because they can be a very valuable life lesson. And that nah, me falling off that is a very regrettable moment in this video. But it, it just shapes everything. And you have to, like, you might have all these feelings of self-doubt and you might not think you could do something. And it's, it's just part of being human. It's one of those things where you're going to have those feelings. You're going to have those ideas of, I can't do it. I, I, there's no way I can do it. And I, I mean, you don't have to listen to me, but you can. And it's just the matter of, of thinking really like it's just a matter of putting your mind to it and saying hey I just need to buckle down and do it and just power it out and it's it's really it guys like 
make yourself the person that you want to be. Don't let the people around you do that. And that goes again back to the relationships that you form with people. I think I wouldn't be who I am today if it weren't for my girlfriend and my friends. Because those people have supported me 100%. Try again. 100% since middle school. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been the inaugural episode of God knows what I'm going to call this series. Victory Royale. I'll see you later, guys. Peace.